So I'm Arpit. Um, so Greg was uh, Greg, our product manager, was supposed to be here, but he couldn't. So I apologize for on his behalf. I'll try to do justice to him. So I'm Arpit. Um, I recently joined Synchro as a virtual design and construction uh, specialist, and um, my background is in architecture. I've been working in that field for four and a half years, and just moved over to uh, construction management. So Synchro. Uh, it's a construction management platform. We essentially take 3D models from our uh, designers, um, the architects, the engineers, and um, essentially put a time factor into it and make it a 4D system. So we use all that information to plan our construction sequence, to um, reduce our timeline, to uh, better manage resources, crews, cost, etc. So essentially, we um, virtually build a building uh, like construct the building virtually uh, before it's like breaking ground on the site. So it's like virtually and visually a very um, product product software. Um, we have a lot of interoperability with uh, all the softwares out there. We can import almost any uh, format, you name it, and we can do it. And we like to integrate our system. So we have like direct plugins for one of the more dominant uh, softwares out there for 3D and um, scheduling softwares. Um, I like to show this publication in ENR, and it says like ENR Future Tech Special Report. So it's like uh, we are probably the one of the best um, companies who is doing 4D uh, management the way we do it, and we want to keep ourselves like the top of the future tech. <laughs> um, we have a bunch of um, clientele from all over the world, and some of the top companies, construction companies, actually the top, the biggest construction companies are using our product. What those companies, they, they, they know how to use Synchro and they are using it for the purpose it's meant to be to um, streamline the whole process and reduce their schedule and cost, but they want, they want that wow factor from their, from their animation when they're uh, bidding their projects out. So right now what the workflow is, they use our software and they exported a FBX to a 3ds Max or Lumen or such rendering software and then uh, produce an animation and sell it out. But uh, we want to directly in integrate our, our software with the best possible rendering engine out there. And that's where IRA comes in. <coughs> this is our, um, what our interface looks like. Like this is a very data rich interface and we already have like four, 4D elements in it. And it for the professionals who are actually using the software for the contractors, the planners, uh, the, the field inspectors, they all understand what's happening here. But this is kind of lost in the upper management. So these are the kind of animation we can produce. This is not just like a dummy animation. This is actually how the construction is going to happen throughout, throughout its life cycle. This is real accurate data. So, but uh, you can see it's kind of, kind of flat and gray. So we just want to make it so much better that people just say wow and they are sold. So essentially we want to make our flat images like that and put IRA and make a lot more clearer. It's, it just looks so much better. <laughs> um, this is this is one of our simpler animation, just showing showing how how easy it is to understand what's exactly happening. You have the shadows, you have more accurate lighting, and people can see compared compared to what we had previously before IRA. It's kind of the data is kind of lost. So I'm I'm just gonna throw a bunch of images. Uh, this is uh, this is an airport in Los Angeles, and we're working working for them as a permanent member to do all their construction management. Yep, these are the kind of images we generally produce using array. So this is like our synchro native um, imagery. And again, it's, it has a lot of information. But when you, when you check it out in IRAs, you can just see exactly what's happening, all the, all the, like, the scaffoldings and stuff, and the rooms inside, the shadows, daylight. This is one of our animations using IRA. So I'll, I'll just let the video speak for itself. And uh, like our topic was, it's not just the 
the Hollywood appeal of the IRA is not just for looking good. It's if we can actually use it for some of the simulations. Like there's a lot of um, activities happening at a construction site, and you have crane workers, you have equipment, so you have people. So this we can use this for actual um, daylight simulations. How much light is available for safety purposes and efficiency of work. So how we started out initially, we had this um, very simple renders using IRA. So you can see it's it's. It's not pretty accurate. There's a there's no texture map or bump maps on the material. So, but we have come along a long way in making making our images way better. So, like initially I said, we like to integrate our products, uh, and we are not using any plugins or anything to render array. We just want it so streamlined that people can just press a button and have an array image or an animation straight from our software. Um, this is one of uh, I, f I found this video on the YouTube by one of our user Torino Group, and they were doing a uh, animation um, sequences using different iterations. So you can see uh, there's a lot of noise in 15 iterations for 15 seconds. And then it's so much better if you put more iterations, just exploring how much better IRA can get. So this is straight out of our software. Um, so this is one of our bigger projects. It's a stadium. Um, and we had to develop a lot of materials specifically we kind of push our development because of the this this project. So you can see without the IRA, you kind of lose all the information. There is no clarity in your animations. It's, it's not just a ho the Hollywood appeal. It is actually we are actually utilizing it. So right now this is this is where we are. We have transparency. We have accurate textures and bumps, and we are it's just very informative. So our goal is to make make all of these. These are more like uh, work scenarios. So we our goal is to make like market ready uh, like the renders which we have been watching throughout the throughout the day, eventually, and, and not rely on 3ds Max or anything. Um, we also are integrating our projects on AR specifically. So eventually, we'd like to see some sort of more real time ray trace renders on these on this platform also so yeah right now uh, we are working on like expanding our material library making it more accurate uh, we had a hackathon a couple of weeks back and um, we demonstrated how we can use multiple nodes because because the companies which use the software, they're pretty big and they have a bunch of uh, servers and computation power. So if we can spread our rendering across their local server nodes, that'll be awesome. Uh, we still have to implement denoising filter unless we already have, I don't know. A um, lot of customers complain about this. There's a lack of um, interior lighting when, when we are working on closed room. So we need to look into that and ARV integration if possible right now. <coughs> That's all. Thank you.